Hello, star makers, and our thanks to the thousands and thousands of you who have already cast your votes for Bob Says Opportunity Knocks tonight. For those of you who haven't yet, here I am, back again, as threatened, to remind you of our six acts and to give you those all-important telephone numbers which enable you to vote for the act of your choice. Our lines will be open until midnight, and no matter where you're calling from, you can pick your winner for only five pence. Whatever act you plump for, the number is 0898 double nine one double one <sighs> and that question mark is where you have to make up your mind because if you want to vote for act number one that's impressionist debbie stevenson then you put a one at the end of that number if you choose act number two our vocal group romany way put a two on the end act number three comedian roy brandon a three for act number four singer beverly cyrus a four for act number five funny man brody fry a five and if you choose act number six, pianist Francis Canning, you end your number with a six. When you call, you'll hear my recorded voice doing just what I'm doing now, thanking you for helping us to make a star. So please, seize the opportunity. In short, a thoroughly evil woman and a liar. Is that what you're telling the jury, Mrs. Stevenson? No. Thank you, Mrs. Stevenson. No further questions. With the evidence stacked, the battle for control of Bentley's news agency continues in a brand new series of Strike It Rich, and the stakes are even higher. Apparently, another Bentley shareholder has turned up out of the blue. They need a valuation. Oh, that's a bit of luck. I'll be up there the next shuttle, madam. I oh. understand the disabled gentleman now. Uh, Tim Boyd? Yeah, he got married, didn't he? That's right, yes, but he's still hanging on to his shares. What's the position with the other small shareholders at the moment? Uh, Mrs. Morgan went off to call food to live with her boyfriend. She sold out to the consortium, anyway. What about that odd little criminal? Kelly? Oh, he's just done a spell in the side for nicking a car. But he's hanging on to his shares. I'm surprised he wasn't tempted to sell. Only because he thinks everyone's out to do him. Rich pickings for one and all when the right opportunity comes knocking. Ain't you going to show me in? No. In 45 minutes, we've a super night of rock and roll here on BBC One with a lively journey through 30 years of rock featuring some legendary names such as Bill Haley, Elvis Presley, Chuck Berry and Buddy Holly. Before that, another case calling for the attention of the New York Police Department's more glamorous detectives, Cagney and Lacey.